what it is, what it ain't. It's your girl, Pure Breathe, and I'm back coming with y'all with a story time slash mukbang. You feel me? If I say her name, it ring bell. Say I got the drill, get you a pill. All of her exes are goofy Chappelle. I'm at a house more than a mailman. Say you a star, but you giving me hell. In another zone, can't you tell? And if you ain't rocking, I'm like, oh well. So today, I got a little, you know what I'm saying? I got this Whopper coming through. I got the Whopper coming through. We're gonna go ahead and, you know what I mean? Open this up. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? See? Ooh, ooh. Juicy thing. That mug. Thick. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. But before I bite this juicy ass burger, before I bite this burger, I'm gonna let y'all know what I'm about to have a story time about. Um, I hope y'all familiar. I'm not sure if y'all familiar with Lake Lanier. Crazy lake. So many crazy stories just recently. Uh, I think it was like at least four people done died. One dude got electrocuted for jumping into the lake. It doesn't have any recorded cases of electrocution on Lake Lanier. And while rare, this could serve as a reminder to boaters to get an electrician to double check their docks. Three people lost their lives in Lake Lanier this past weekend. It was a tough weekend. It's a sad weekend. Divers are continuing the search for a swimmer. 61-year-old Tracy Stewart drowned in perhaps the most unique. A spokesperson for the Department of Natural Resources Law Enforcement Division says 24-year-old Shepard Milner jumped off a dock with a boat lift. He was shocked by the electricity in the water and died at the hospital. The Forsyth County Sheriff's Office is still investigating if anything faulty caused his death. Some docks do have amperage. They do have electrical units attached to them. And when those electrical units touch down to the water, it can charge the water. I talked to Shepard's mother, Martha Milner, on the phone. She told me our deck was less than three years old and was outfitted with electricity by a licensed. Where's the wire? Where's the electricity coming from? You know what I'm saying? But they say, you know what I'm saying? It's a whole city built under the lake. So we we we're gonna get in my my uh POV, my point of view, and what happened to me. I done been to Lake Lanier so many times, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna share my story, you know, surviving Lake Lanier. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna share my story. Before we get in here, this burger calling my name. poet and Confederate Army veteran, Lake Lanier in Northeast Georgia is a popular weekend destination for millions each year. The lake is located just between Gainesville and Beaufort and is suitable for fishing, boating, and suntanning. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers estimates that some 7.5 million people visit Lake Sidney Lanier annually. But Lake Lanier's existence lends itself to a history of state-sanctioned theft and racial cleansing. Let's start at the beginning. After the Civil War, slaves in the South were emancipated and granted citizenship through constitutional amendments. But by the turn of the 20th century, all Southern states disenfranchised blacks by rural blacks worked as sharecroppers on white-owned land and were seldom able to get free from poverty. Before its completion in 1956, beneath Lake Lanier were several small towns once occupied by farmers. One of the more well-known towns absorbed by the lake is Oscarville, although Portions of old Oscarville, Georgia still live on the map. The original city 
survived through lore. Written and oral history did not give the other towns purchased by the state the same grace, and they remain unknown. Oscarville, located north of the perimeter in Forsyth County, began as a small To this very day, Forsyth County continues to be recognized as one of the most racist places in the United States. Following this racial cleansing, Lake Lanier, a man-made lake, was created. Lake Lanier was forced upon the land of those affluent, self-sufficient blacks. The Buford Dam was also created and flooded in order to cover up the hidden horror of the county's past. There seemed to be very little punishment for racial injustice in Forsyth County. Mm. I don't, I don't think I know where to start at. First, I just want to say, I think Lake Lanier is a beautiful lake. Um, it's a place that I like to go, you know what I'm saying? And um, really just relax and chill, even though it's, it feels weird every time I pull up, but it's the closest big body of water. You stay in Georgia then, you know, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's so many crazy stories about Lake Lanier. And I have been going now for, um, I've been going for a couple of years now since I've been moved to Georgia. You know, I'm from NC baby, originally, an uh, NC baby for real. And I don't know, um, one particular time, me and my ex, we wanted to, you know, relax, you know, chill, go to the lake, watch the people cook on a grill, It'd be mad people out there, mad, mad people. And of course, most lakes got a, a gate that, you know what I'm saying? You can get in, you can get out. This particular time, you know, we, we were staying a little late. It's been a lot, it was a lot of activity going on that day. You know what I'm saying? Mm. There's a lot of activity going on that day. It was a beautiful summer day. And um, like I said, me and my ex, we just wanted to ride up there. Um, I noticed while we was chilling out there, there was a lot of, you know, trucks coming through with the Confederate flags, you know what I'm saying? Bumping hip hop, like they always do. They love us and hate us at the same time. And anyways, particularly this time, it was just like, they were dancing, just like, I'm not gonna tell you what race, but they were dancing and they were dancing to hip hop music and we paid it no mind. I mean, at this time the sun was, eh, it was like, you know, evening time. The sun was still out, you know what I'm saying? Out there relaxing. We see other people still out there chilling. But before I get to the, the big part of the story is, is like, when you first go to Lake Lanier, bro, and you riding on your way there, and get closer to, it's it's a big lake, so it's so many beach areas, so many parts of the area where you can go to and hang out or whatever you want to do or whatnot. This particular time, you know what I'm saying? We went to, I think it's called Old Federal. That's the name of the beach part. Excuse me the beach area that we particularly go to a lot. It's, it's just a weird vibe you get when you riding down the road to get there. It's just this energy. In my mind, I imagine it to be like a bunch of I, my ancestors um, or friends of my ancestors or, you know, just the elderly ancestors just all lined up on the roads. They get to the beach area. Whenever they see somebody black, they like, waving us down like don't go like on some don't do it don't do it it's an energy you feel it you even if you try not to you feel something you know your senses gonna be like hmm 
I heard stories even before we heard the stories. And, and remind you, we kept going, we kept going. And I heard some things about Lake Lanier before, but I don't know why I didn't put two and two together. Sometimes I just like, whatever, you know. I was with my ex and her family and we was just all eating or whatever. And we would let them know like, yeah, we always go to Lake Lanier and everybody just paused and were looking at us like we was crazy. You know what I'm saying? It was like, oh, y'all go to Lake Lanier? It was like, y'all know that's haunted, right? That's that's haunted. We was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But we still was going. We st Again, we love body of water. Like, if we can stay on the beach, we'll be at the beach every day. But for something that's so close, it's only 45 miles, you know, away um, from Atlanta. So we was like, all right, let's just ride it. And we can ride and we can come back in the same day. And we have been, a, you know, multiple times. And we just feel that energy. We never, you know had any encounters but that one particular day that it was just mad certain people was there with their confederate flags and they trucks riding through the shit mm. this particular time It was like, it was other people parked in the parking lot. So, you know, we was at the beach shore or whatever, just hanging out, probably, you know, smoking. It's a, it's a lake, you know what I'm saying? Everybody around cooking on the grill. And it's getting like evening time. The sun is still out, you know what I'm saying? It's not completely dark. And again, it's other people parked. And we kept seeing trucks riding through. Again, they've been riding through all day. I mean, doing little funny stuff all day, turning the music up all day, you know what I'm saying? Because we was there for a couple of hours. We was there from like maybe three into, I want to say like eight at the late, like when it hit like eight o'clock, that's when we noticed it was like a few people, everybody was leaving. Um, So it's still other people out there again, um, relaxing, doing their thing. We was like, all right, it's getting dark. Time for us to head back to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? It's getting dark. It was like, we packing up our stuff or whatever. <sighs> the cherry Coca-Cola. <laughs> So yeah, we had been there all day. Like I stated, we drinking, we smoking, but not heavy drinking. We probably had like some wine. And um, we was like, let's, you know, go ahead and pack up our stuff, get in the car or whatever, and head back to Atlanta. And the way they got it set up, so when you go into the lake, you come through one side of the gate. They got a boating area. And they just got the regular area, like a swimming area. It's a whole drive around with trees in the middle that you cannot see the exit. So we get to the, we ride around to the exit part and remind you, there's other people that's still in the park. And we have been seeing this one particular vehicle just riding back through. You know, it didn't look like it was suspicious. It was other people in inside of the lake. We get to the exit point so it's an exit in and then it's an exit out on a whole opposite side that you can't see from the entrance. The gate is closed. I was looking at my ex. My ex looked at me and we was like, now we just seen somebody. We didn't see nobody close this gate because we can't see that from the area, the swimming area we was in. You know what I'm saying? So I was looking like, this is a real metal gate. It's got a chain wrapped around it. You know what I'm saying? And I was thinking to myself, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I was like, I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here. Like, can't nobody box me in. That's one thing I don't give a, I don't give a, you know what, where I'm at, but I'm gonna be able to get out. I can always escape. I can always get out. Uh, you can tie me up. I'm going to know how to escape from out of being tied up. That's just me. You can't box me in. 
my ex was scared as hell. And I was like, oh, hell no. I was like, how? I mean, I didn't want to take my car and just bum rush the gate. So I was thinking like, I was like, let me be smart. Found something in my trunk, a uh, tire jack uh, for your, your tire. Like, I don't know what it is. And I took that and I kind of was like, I banged the chain part that was connected to the, it was like two gates. And then it's a chain in the middle of that connecting the two middle gates. That's all I can, that's the best I can explain. Man, I knocked that damn gate loose. I was like, they had me up. You feel me? Y'all got me up. Like, there's other people in the lake, and whoever locked the gate knew it was other people inside of that lake area. It wasn't just us. It wasn't like it was just us. So that's what made it feel like it was a target because it was like, y'all knew it was other people. Ain't nobody say nothing. Didn't nobody ring alarm. They ain't, we do see, it was like, after it was like, oh, y'all close at 830. But it won't even eight o'clock yet. You feel me? That gate was closed and was like, yo, who did that? If I couldn't have gotten out, it, no, it would have been no, if I, it was going to be, I was going to mess up these people's property at Lake Lanier because I was going to get out after all the conversations people been having around us, telling us we crazy for going Lake Lanier and we kept going back because it was like, we don't get inside of the lake. So none of that stuff can happen to us, but after all the activity that was going around, it was, you know what, Confederate flags and trucks and stuff, and they were out in the parking lot dancing and stuff. What they call dancing. And it was it was just like, oh, that was, a, it felt like it was a target. It felt like somebody was trying to get our asses, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, hell no, I got us up out of there. When I opened up that gate, when I seen that gate loosen up, I hit that middle piece and it had like a ring thing wrapped around it. So it was like chain like this and I knocked that mug loose. Got us up out of there, I left their gates wide open. Cause again, it was still other people. It was at least one or two other vehicles that were still parked out there and they may not have been at the lake but they still was still out there so whoever locked it was like what you know what i'm saying so but it was crazy it was other things you know we started you know seeing and vibes we still we we felt when we would stop at like the local stores or whatever around lake lanier and we was just like brushing it off but it, it's creepy lake lanier is creepy it's weird it's a weird energy, but it's a body of water. Take it as something positive, and I try to make it something um, where I can get my mind off of stress and just relax and, you know, think about a lot of stuff. And just to get away from Atlanta, all that traffic, all the city, and just to go, you know, I'm a country girl, so I like to be in the country, you know what I mean? And that's the closest thing you can get when you in Georgia, you know what I'm saying, as far as a body of water, unless you go to the beach. And it, it just messed up our uh, whole vibe. I mean, something I never forgot. And it was like, after that, we still somehow will want to go to Lake Lanier. And for some particular reason, our GPS would never route us to that same particular like, park area. And it's the federal, I think it's called a federal, federate, I don't know, federal uh, beach front. And it would circle us around. I mean, U-turns. We would go places in Lake Lanier that, of course, we didn't need to be at because it was like our GPS would not take us back to that particular spot. And it was so weird. We eventually, we found that place, that spot again, and we went back again because it was like Memorial Day. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we still was going, we were still chilling, and I, and I would go because my, you know, my ex would be like, let's go, you know what I'm saying? She would want to be around water because it, again, it helps ease the mind, and it's the only body of water unless we would go all the way to the beach. Well, we, our option is to, you know, go to the beach by Georgia, go to Myrtle Beach, or head to Florida. And sometimes you, we both wanted to just be by some water that was just quick right here, and we can come back home. So we kept going back, and you know, every time it's, it's, it's a different energy, but you know, I had the opportunity to take pictures and you know what I'm saying, the nature, and we had an encounter with a duck. 
the weirdest encounter with a duck. Let me let me tell you first, this duck was the prettiest duck I ever seen. It was green, like a like a forest, forest bluish green, like an indigo green, dark green at that, around the neck and the head of it. And it had like this brown, you know what I'm saying, color scheme pattern on his back like the rest of his body was brown and it was a small like it looked fairly like a fairly young duck or whatever and this duck we sitting at the lake this was before that had happened and the duck and, and my ex got pictures and, and everything with this duck this duck kept coming up to us we had no food and it kept creeping up to us kept creeping up to us kept creeping up to us and I, I would say go get get go Leo's long no like it was a dog or something it will stop it will look at us to the side and it will ease its way you know what i'm saying back towards us we sit in with a blanket by the shore part of the lake and my ex was she was like oh, i'm gonna take pictures oh it, it's a good spirit you know what i'm saying it's a duck this duck i never encountered a duck like that most ducks they come in packs, they be in packs. This duck was alone, it, you know what I'm saying? And it kept getting closer and closer to us where it made me uncomfortable. And I had to be like, get, you know what I'm saying? Stop. My ex won't say all of that. She was just taking pictures. She was like, oh, this duck is, you know, she thought it was cute. Oh, the duck is so pretty. It was a nice looking duck. I was like, yo, that duck looked nice and looked clean. You know what I'm saying? It looked like a, a, a nice fresh pattern of a shirt or something, if, I, if you ask me. And it got to the point where the duck kept creeping up to us and our, you know, our feet are laid out, we on, the, on a blanket and it was getting too close. And I was like, yo, stop. And she said, stop. When she said, stop, the duck looked at us, it paused, it turned around and it looked back at us. And it kind of just like, it, it, it was almost like the duck, we hurt the duck feelings or something. It was so, weird i never encountered a duck like that before i still to this day is just crazy and we talk about it and yo the duck walked off when she said stop that duck stopped it stopped it looked to the side and it left it left and walked and got back into lake lanier and it rolled off like into the sunset for real and it was a crazy like we it did little weird stuff like that it's just like, mm, you made Lake Lanier. It's like, mm. not only, you know, I'm going to post it somewhere in this video of all the people that's been dying back to back at Lake Lanier here. Like even just this month, um, in the month of July, because it's August now, but in the month of July, it was just like four people died. Not even that. Usher uh, had, a, I think, a stepson or, yeah, a stepson or... A guy's son, I'm not really sure on that, but y'all can look that up. And he died from a freak accident. And it just be too many weird situations. My grandma was like, y'all better not go, you know, go back there. Because if we had got locked into that lake, nobody would have known we was even out there because we weren't even telling people we was going to that lake. And when we did go, it was very sporadic, spontaneous, like, let's just go and let's go to the lake. We never would tell nobody that we were on our way or that we were going to the lake. So my grandma was like, yeah, they could have got us though. They, if they wanted to lock it, if we was dummies and not survivals and not able to break that gate, we are probably been in there all night. Something could have happened to us. Who knows? I mean, we could have got murdered. Anything could have happened to us. And, and if you go and do your research, there's so many crazy stories on YouTube and TikTok about Lake Lanier. It's just, y'all check that out. But y'all go check that out. I dare you to go and listen to some of the YouTube stories about Lake Lanier in Gainesville, Georgia. And y'all let me know what y'all see, what y'all hear, and what y'all find out. Comment down below if you ever had an experience at Lake Lanier or if you ever been to Lake Lanier and how you felt. Was there any vibes? You know what I'm saying? 
please comment down below and let me let me know because I don't want to feel like I'm the only person, you know. But so many people say they go. So y'all let me know y'all stories. Y'all write it down below and let me know because I'm here for the, the scary, spooky stuff. We didn't encounter no crazy ghost stories or anything like that. I don't have any ghost stories for you, but it was just the people, you know. You don't have to have a ghost when there's crazy people or animals like the duck the duck that duck that duck was a human that duck was like we didn't have no food for the duck he came out of nowhere and just walking up to us and the way he looked he was looking so sad when we told you know when my ex told him to leave it was crazy it was it was real crazy but that's you know that's my story for late lanier i didn't go deep 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 into detail if you have any questions, you can comment down below. And until next time, it's your girl, Pure Breeze. You feel me knocking? Or well, let me in. Peace. If I say her name, it ring bell. Say I got the drip, get you a pill. All of her ex is a goofy Chappelle. I'm at a house more than a mailman. Say you a star, but you giving me hell. In another zone, can't you tell? And if you ain't rocking, I'm like...